गुड मॉर्निंग बायो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रफुल शर्मा बायोलॉजी लेक्चरर टी एपी स्कूल आमेट लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन चैप्टर फर्स्ट रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनजियोस्पर्मिक प्लांट्स इन टूडे सेशन वी विल गो थ्रू सम टॉपिक्स एज फॉलोज द एनजियोस्पर्म्स आर नोन एज फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स फ्लावर बीरिंग प्लांट्स दे आर दे यूजली शोज टू टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्सुअल एंड ए सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन Let's study asexual reproduction in angiospermic plants in detail. Plants can reproduce asexually without the fertilization of gametes by either vegetative reproduction or apomixis. Some plants can produce seeds without fertilization, either the ovule or part of the ovary which is diploid in nature gives rise to a new seed. This method of reproduction is known as apomixis. A plant can produce an embryo without fertilizing the egg cell of ovule, which we call ergamospermy, is an specialized method of apomixis. The second type of asexual reproduction in angiospermic plant is vegetative propagation. Vegetative reproduction results in new individuals without the production of seeds or spores. Producing new plants from any vegetative part of plant such as leaves, stem, roots except the sexual parts like flower is called vegetative reproduction. Vegetative reproduction can take place by natural or artificial means. Plants can undergo natural methods of asexual reproduction performed by plant itself or artificial methods added by humans natural methods include strategies that plants have developed to self propagate many plants continue to grow from buds that are present on the surface of the stem when these are detached from the plant they grow into independent plants a plant can be reproduced naturally with the help of its stem roots leaves or reproductive parts like bulbils we'll go through each of them one by one some plant uses their stems to reproduce asexually vegetative plant structure that arise from plant stems include rhizomes runners bulbs tubers and combs Let's talk about the rhizome first. Rhizomes are modified stems that typically grow horizontally along the surface or beneath the ground. The picture shows two examples of modified stem rhizome, ginger and turmeric, which usually reproduce asexually by stem. Runners, also called stolons, are similar to rhizomes. in that they exhibit horizontal growth at or just below the soil surface example strawberry which also shows vegetative reproduction by stem the visual we are looking now is of bulbs they are the round swollen parts of a stem that are typically found underground example onion garlic tulip which also reproduce asexually through stem tubers are vegetative organs that may develop from stems potatoes and yams which are shown here reproduces through tubers which are actually modified form of stem let's move on to the next type of vegetative reproduction which is vegetative propagation by roots sweet potato asparagus and dahlia can regenerate new plants by growing adventitious buds modified form of root the picture shown here is of bryophyllum and begonia which reproduce by leaves vegetative part of a plant this is a form of asexual reproduction in which new plants grow from the buds growing on the margin of the leaves these buds are reproductive in nature and when they fall on the ground they germinate and forms a new plant many plants can reproduce 
from vegetative parts but some can reproduce asexually by reproductive parts of their body such as a gave and dysoria which uses their modified condensed axillary bud which actually modified for food storage and called bulbil using this reproductive modified bud these plant can reproduce asexually here we are done with our today's session now it's your time students to learn and understand the concepts clearly and do the home assignment undersigned i'll get back to you soon have a nice day